Hi everybody, it is July the 13th and this is Teresa with Country Tapestry and I'm taking a break, let's be honest, I'm playing hooky from the sewing room because I just had to get away from in there. I was working yards and yards of ruffle and it can get tedious and boring and I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, i got to step away. So I thought, I'll come in right quickly, do my cross stitch video. I'm going to show what I did in June, what I've been working on here in July, and talk about a few of my plans. And I'm going to show uh, a few patterns that I've gotten from various places in the last probably about three months. But let's start with what I've done in June. Um, this year I am doing several projects and all of them are fairly large for uh, Christmas gifts. I've got six projects to do. I currently have two of them all the way completed and you all have seen those. I have two that I had underway before June. I have one that I started in June and one that I will start uh, August the 1st. And this is one of the ones that I had started um, and I will insert pictures of what they will look like. This came from Just Cross Stitch Magazine. It's the uh, Black Cap Chickadee. And I'm looking forward to picking this one up and getting a lot more work done on it next month probably. Here is the other one that I have started and these are all also part of my year of starts in Stitch Mania. This is a Paula Vaughn and this is called Growing in Love and I have done all of those dark green stitches. That is all I've done and then I came down here and put this one in and I was visiting with family and chatting so I'm not sure if this is off or this is off, but somewhere in here the counting is not correct, so I'm going to have to fix that. Then my June start, that is also a Christmas present and part of the year starts, is um, from Joyful Expressions, and it's called The Name of Jesus, and I know you've probably seen this pattern done in a variety of colorways. And what I am doing is, I'm doing the part, his name is Jesus in this purple. Wait just a second, let me get the colors. And then, the rest of the lettering, I'm going to do in gold. So here are the colors that I'm going to use for this one. 3829, 3820, and 725 and then the purple that I'm using is um, 3834 and this stitches up really quick I just have not had time to work on it then I was doing uh, the heaven and earth designs Facebook group, the challenges that they're having. I'm still working on Cupcake, and I showed part of it before, and I was down to like the last 1,200 or 1,500 stitches. And I did get that part of the challenge done. The kitty cat's head and his ears has started coming in, so has the clothesline, and a little bit of the butterfly. And I plan on doing the challenge that's out now, and I've got a little feathering in this one, which would not disqualify this page, and I may do this page, or I may decide to go over here and do this page. I'm still really undecided on which one I'm going to do, but I will work on that this month. Then, let's see, I had one other, one other project that I started and finished in June, and I made a wedding sampler, 
and I will insert a picture of the finished product for that here and it was a large hit. Our preacher's wife was so in love with it. And so I'm being sneaky and I'm doing a, the other version was a red version. And I'm doing her a purple version. And I am almost done with the stitching part. I've just got a little down here then I'm going to do the names and the wedding date at the top. And this pattern came from Etsy and I will put a uh, a link to that lady's store down below. Um, this is about maybe 10 evenings worth of work. Uh, it goes r rather quickly and once you put in the first little bit and you can work off of it, the spacing is not a problem at all. Um, you just have to be careful to use the right color <laughs> because I stitched in this in the wrong color yesterday and had to pick it out. But it's uh, a quick stitch and it's it's really lovely when you, you work it up. And this one I'm doing on a 25 count Lugana. Um, I think when she puts the pattern out she re sh recommends like a 14 count or a 28 count. But I had done the other one on 25 count because I wanted that specific size and so that's what I continued to do. Uh, also, I spent a couple of days working on this one. Let's zoom you out a little bit here. And I've talked about this one before. It's this Jan Lynn kit. And all I have really done, well, all that I have left to do is just back stitching. And all I have really done is a little bit more here, here a little on the sled. And I've uh, back stitched in the center figures. This one, there's no, got to have it done by a certain date. I just. If I need to break some something else, I come to this one, or if I need something to travel with, I take this one with me. Now that is everything that I have stitched on in the last month and a half. Uh, the beginning of August, this will be my uh, year starts, and it's also going to be a Christmas present, and it's dusty. And it calls for it calls for flaws that the company no longer produce is even in existence. But you can find uh, conversions to it. But I am going to try to convert it over to DMCs. I've pulled some colors that I like and I'm actually thinking that I may use a couple variegated for some of the blue and some of the brown here, but I'll test I'll test that out. And I'm going to do it on this, which you all have seen. My save the stitches is on the same fabric, and I did uh, a mirabilia on this, and this is a Quaker's cloth, and it's a gold color. And I'm picking to. Um, to match the decor that this is going to go in. And here are some of my possibles for my my threads that I've pulled so far. But I'll I'm, I will piddle and see if there's something I like better. Now, the fun part. What I have gotten in the last couple of months. Now, as I've said, I'm frugal and cheap. And so there are right now there are four two kits and two mirabilias that I actively look for and um, a couple of the well all of these were things that I had been actively looking for and finally found um, this one 
is uh, called Once Upon a Time. And I found this one on eBay. Not sure when I will start it, but it may not be this year. maybe the first of next year. Here is a lavender and lace that I had been looking for. And this is called uh, Queen Anne's Lace. I also found it on eBay. This one. Now a lot of these I can find them on eBay, but I tell myself, you know, I'm not going to spend above a certain dollar amount, so I just wait until it comes to that dollar amount. This one I also got on eBay. And this is called Christmas Visit. And I had been looking for all three of those and found them. Here is a Mirabilia that I had been looking for. And this is called Garden Verses. And while I was looking for it, it wasn't that big a deal to see several and reasonably priced. And I had told myself I wouldn't spend more than $5 on it. And now uh, she's suddenly become a very popular item. And, oh, man, people were wanting a lot for her. Um, this Mirabilia, Cassiopeia, my oldest daughter is in love with this pattern. And I finally found it really dirt cheap with all of its beads so I went ahead and picked that up because just as soon as I don't and I decide I want to stitch it for her it'll be it'll go the way of like touching autumn sky and you know a hundred dollars I'm spending that on a pattern this one I love and I, I plan on doing this for Christmas this year And again, found on eBay for, I don't think I paid $3, including shipping. This one, I found on eBay, and I like it, and I like it quite a bit, but I probably wouldn't have went ahead and picked it up, except that it was in with this one. And this was one I had been looking for. And my grandfather loved horses, and he, we lived on a farm, and he worked horses. And if the hay was in bales, I have a, a photograph that would almost match that exactly. Um, he had a pair of work horses that looked very much like these. So I had been looking for this one and got such a steal on them, I couldn't pass them up. This is another one I want to do for Christmas. I'm not sure if I'll get to do it this year or not. But I had kind of been looking for it as well. It's called 2000 Years Ago by Shepherd Bush. And again, got it for such a reasonable deal, couldn't pass it up. Uh, stash Unload. I love to look on there, but I really restrain myself. But this one was one that I had kind of been keeping my eye out for. It's my big toe design. It's the name of God. And again, I found it so reasonable that I went ahead and picked it up before um, before it got gone because I was... Uh, it, it's the same thing as with the Mirabilia. I just knew as soon as I really decided I just had to have it, the prices would be outrageous. And this is the last thing that I've picked up in the last couple of months. It's the Chatelaine Alpine Seasons Garden. And love this pattern. I will be converting it over to DMC for a couple of reasons. One, the closest needle workshop to me is with good traffic and nothing goes wrong over a two hour drive one way.
So finding the silks and things that go for this, there's no way. Two, I'm too cheap. There's no way I'm going to spend the amount of money on threads um, for this. I'm just too cheap to do that. Uh, not sure when I'll start it. Now, I did find on eBay the fabric for this for less than half what it would have been anywhere else. So I did go ahead and get the fabric for it. Uh, there are, let's see, maybe it was Tracy P. who uh, says this is her all-time one that she really wants. And there's another lady that actually has this and is starting it with a couple other people. And I cannot think of her name. I can see her. I can hear her voice. But her name just escapes me right now. Um, and she lives in Tennessee. I even know what state she. No, no, I don't think she lives in Tennessee. Um, but yeah, I'm going to convert it over using the suggested DMCs for the most part. I'm going to pull some variegated uh, from the variations line DMCs for a few of these, and then the beads. Those I probably will not convert. I will just purchase a little along here and there and get those. But those would be the last thing going on, so I'm not too too terribly concerned about them. And I really have to wash everything that I stitch. That's another reason why I'm going to be converting. I have a little cat, and you all have seen her, and she has to add her specialty floss to my work constantly she just she wants right up on me while I'm stitching and with her going back and forth and me stopping and starting and laying it here and laying it there I really need to wash my pieces so I will convert that and when I do and I show it along I will talk about what ones I use and kind of compare what the look is like so that is about it my only plans are to finish up that heart and work on the um, cupcake for the challenge um, and then start the um, ultimate debate August the 1st so I'll have everything ready for that I I want to really concentrate on some of the Christmas uh, presents and once I get this heart done I can really start getting back into doing that and maybe rotate every week a different project but that is my plans for the rest of July and the first of August and that will do it for me today I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later goodbye